Hey everyone, in this 365 Ninja video, I'm going to show Office 365 admins how to view or change a DLP policy. So I'm starting in my general admin center. I'm going to scroll down so I can go to the exchange admin center. I'll navigate here to compliance management and go to data loss prevention. So you can see here that I have just one DLP policy in my tenant. I just set it up and in order to check it out or do any editing, all I have to do is double click it. A window comes up where I can look at the general information, how it's enforced, but where I'm really going to get into kind of the nitty gritty of the policy is in the rules tab here. If I want to look at or change any of these rules, I'll just select them. And if I want to actually do any editing, I'll click on this pencil icon. So you can see this rule is saying that if the email is scanned and the recipient of the email is located outside the organization and the message contains sensitive information based on this rule, the sender will be notified with a policy tip. So if I want to go through and change any of these conditions, I can, let's say, add an exception to the rule. Say if the sender is a particular person, maybe the CEO just never wants to see any policy tips, you can do that here. Now let's cancel out of this rule because I don't actually want to change it. If I need to add a new rule to my policy, I can click the plus sign and click create a new rule. Then I get this blank rule that I can fully customize. If I want to add a rule about sender notification, blocking messages, or allowing overrides, those options will be in the drop down menu next to the new icon. And lastly, if I want to remove one of these rules, I just need to highlight it and click the garbage can icon to delete. So if I've made any changes, I can save my policy and go back to my general data loss prevention dashboard here. Now, of course, you can add new policies from here. You can delete policies. You can create policy tips. You can really do a lot. But if you're just going in to view or edit one of your policies, you can follow some of the steps that I just showed you. Hope this tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.